In this video, I will be showing you how you can drag click what you're probably doing wrong and how you can clean this mouse to drag click even better in the future. So let's just get started. The absolute number one mistake people make when trying to learn to drag click is not knowing the wrist motions. So what you do is when you drag click, you want to bend your wrist like this. You don't want to remain in a fixed position like this and move your finger. That won't do anything. What you want to do is you want to bend your wrist upwards and extend your finger outward. Curl that finger up like this and bend that wrist. You want your wrist to go like this. You do not want to do this. So, let me demonstrate it. This is not how you drag click. See, it does nothing. But if I go like this, as you can see, the mouse is drag clicking. That is because when I curve my wrist, it allows my finger to apply even pressure throughout the switch of the mouse, therefore allowing me to drag click. This is the number one mistake people make. Now, let's move on to the second mistake. The second reason why people may struggle drag clicking is that they are simply pressing too hard down on the switch. So, drag clicking is a skipping game. Your finger is supposed to skip across the mouse. See? Like this. But, what some people may think is you must press down hard. Wrong. So, if you actually try to press down hard, what will happen is nothing because the switch will remain pressed down throughout the entire drag click and nothing will happen. But if you actually drag click for real, your finger is skipping across the mouse. Like this. This is kind of what it looks like. If you go faster, it will look like this. So basically, just keep in mind if you're pressing down too hard and not letting the switch click, you're not doing anything good. The third and final reason why people struggle to drag click is that they have sweaty or wet fingers. So, since drag clicking is a friction motion, you need to have dry fingers. If you have any sweat in your fingers, it might make drag clicking really difficult. So, what I recommend is that you grab a towel or something and just wipe down your fingers. Maybe a little bit of alcohol. Just get your fingers dry enough in order to drag click. So, you should also keep in, uh, keep in mind and take care of your mouse as well because your mouse can actually build up oils across the surface as you drag your finger across it. That is because there's a lot of natural oil from your fingers which will build up and coat your mouse. That will make it extremely difficult to drag click in the future. So now that you have learned of the common mistakes that people encounter while drag clicking and how you can clean your mouse, now we can go into some practice steps if you haven't fully mastered the mechanics of drag clicking. So what I will show you first is the first practice step is just to hold your arm up like this a little bit. So you want it to just barely touch the mouse. You want to hold your arm up, see how it's, and act like it's limp. Then you just want to push forward. You want to try to make a skipping motion. See, I'm not clicking my mouse, but I am attempting to make my finger skip. So my finger is skipping due to friction. This can also be done on a table like this. As you can see, my finger is skipping, which is the basic function of drag clicking. So if you're advanced at this, then you can put your finger right here and you can just let your finger skip. Not clicking, just skipping. So you can kind of get the motion down. Over time, you can then attempt to press down a little bit harder and start clicking. As you can see, I'm getting a couple CPS just doing this and this is kind of what drag clicking is at slow motion so I'm just letting my hand just be a limp and just letting my finger press down letting my finger skip I'm not using any muscles just letting my finger skip so once you've got that down you can then practice doing this you can put your finger right here in this pocket and then 
you can start trying to drag click like this. So you just lightly let your finger skip, lightly let it skip. If your finger is a little bit wet and starting to slip, you can just wipe it off. And you can just press a little bit harder. And over time, you will be able to drag click. So what I did there seems easy enough, right? But it, it takes a little bit of time to kind of understand how hard you press. And you kind of want to you kind of want to know when to ease off the pressure. Right here in the middle of the switch, there will be uh, in the middle of the mouse, there will be a switch. So right here you have to apply the least amount of pressure. Here you have to apply the most amount of pressure. So what you do is you just go like this. What I'm doing is I'm allowing my finger to be limp and allowing it to skip. See, I'm not actually moving my finger. The finger is moving itself. The mouse is catching my finger and making it go out. So the same concept applies here. I just go like this. And it just drag clicks. So the main thing you want to know is you just got to know uh, how far you have to press down on the switches. And you just want to have your finger limp in order to allow it to skip. And basically drag clicking is a skipping motion like I mentioned earlier. And eventually over time you'll be able to drag click like this. like a car or any other form of technology, this mouse needs its maintenance. So in order to have the best drag clicking experience, you'll have to clean it off. The way you do that is by using rubbing alcohol. This is 70% isopropyl alcohol, also known as rubbing alcohol. So rubbing alcohol is a mild solvent. It's not known for its capabilities to dissolve plastic, therefore it's a great solution for cleaning off oils. This will not damage your mouse. However, I will warn you of one thing. Please don't soak your mouse with this stuff. Don't dip your mouse in a vat of this alcohol. Simply coat it slightly on the switches where you need it. Don't overdo it. Also, I'll give you another big warning. Don't use acetone or paint thinner. Those are extremely harsh chemicals, and they will destroy your mouse and turn it into a soup. Do not use those, because they are known for completely melting plastic. So, let's get right into it. The way you clean off your mouse is you grab a Q-tip, you dip it inside, get it out, soak it up slightly, and what you do is you just briefly coat the switches like this. Boom, boom up and down let it dry up don't put too much just put just a little bit on and what this would do is this alcohol will evaporate and take off all of the oils from your fingers that may stay on the mouse you can also do this on the left side of the mouse as you can see it will dry up fairly quickly and your mouse will be good as new you should not worry about any damage unless you uh, pour it too much and get it inside the mouse, which will be bad. Other than that, you should be good, and your mouse should drag click just as it did when you opened it from the box. So this is how you clean your mouse and maintain it. Since you made it this far in the video, if you wouldn't mind, please drop a sub and a like on this video if you want to support more awesome content like this in the future. Let me know in the comments below if you found this video helpful and if it helped teach you more about the mechanics of drag clicking. I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.